I need to visit Transic to get the location of the bandit base. No sooner said than done. There should be playing these mercenaries available in this town now. Mm, you smell. This might be a good time to take care of all the hostiles in Beregas. Because I'm pretty sure by the time we get access to Boulder's Gate, the guys here will disappear. Can I assist you? Yeah, two of them. Not sure how officer by will act, but the standard enforcer should be act like police. I got some cheap beer for ya. You were startled out of sleep. light wounds. Perfectly okay with disability. No sooner said than done. Right, how are we going to lure? Uh, oh shit! How are we going to deal with this? We have one killer available as here. We have one mage. Uh, that we can utilize to do something, and then we have um, Silky, a mage that we can utilize to do something. So we have two mages and a fighter. I think we should try to play the mages against each other. It doesn't particularly matter which one wins. So I think Silky will probably win. The problem is not rather that it's the problem is that I have to, I'd have to manually control the spell casting, and I I really don't want to do that because it feels like I might as well just have another party member that I can control and play normally. Uh, we might have to do that occasionally because the AI just basically shits itself if I take control of it. So it can't be helped. I, I still don't like doing that. But we might have to do it. Right. Let's see if we can even lure the guy out. We would lure him here, have him follow us to Silky, and so forth and so forth. Although the enchantment does last for quite a long time, so maybe we don't have to work like this. That's the entire point of using the cloak. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. One way or another, both of these spellcasters have to die now. Both deserve it. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Thespian extraordinaire. Thespian. What? Of course. What exactly can you do? Oh, she's a bard. With two lightning bolts and five magic missiles. She's good. Well, uh, I would be hard pressed to survive her. Because I can't do damage to her. Anyway. Mm -hmm. hey no there. sooner said than done. A waste of my talents. No sooner said than done. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. I'll give them trouble. No sooner said than done. A waste of my talents.
A waste of my talents. Not exactly looking promising. Of course. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. Course. I won't survive it. But at least he will follow us. That's the important part. It's a bit tricky. Oh, do not delete it. At least it's a bit a tricky though. He has of to course. have a very perfect timing. Like he sort of sees us, but doesn't have time to initiate the a waste spell. of my talent. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. I'll give them trouble. A waste of my talent. No sooner said than done. Okay, it wasn't much of a fight. Uh, blah 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 blah. Got the information. Funny part is, I. No update. I am Excellent. Surely close to death. Your world map has been updated. Uh, you don't actually get the location of the base, Bandit Cap base, until you come back to this in the past in. So, if you just kill the guy somewhere else and wonder why you can't find the Bandit Camp, it's because you're playing a computer game. So this shit happens. Of course. No sooner said than done. Hmm. Of course. How are we gonna handle this? Hmm. A waste of my talents. What? I need silky and the uh, fire to no fight each other. I need silky to die. Silky probably recharges her spells when we rest. Even if she doesn't see, she will still have enough to cause a lot of trouble. A waste of my talent. He could also be transported to the, in her initial location. Doesn't particularly matter. Could use on the wand of sleep too, by the way. Never used the classic thing. Right, we will take control over the fighter first. And figure out a way how to how we're gonna get silky. Fail. A waste of my talents. I love these this I item now because our targets are low level opponents, so it almost always just works. A waste of my talents. A waste of my talents. Oh, Silky is still under our control too. Well, uh. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Of 
Of course. Okay. You might as well try something. N Nira is here, and her enc encountering her triggers a uh, counter with a couple of fighters and mages. Now that we have our temporary team here, we might as well see how what happens here. I mean, uh, e even if we all survive, we can still just fight each other. The encounter happens here. You! Hey, you! Yes, you! There's bandits! Vicious! My hero. Now, where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need. So. You're the. You there. Stand aside and give me the girl. By my right as a wizard of Fae, I shouldn't be surprised that what if you wish to die. Away with you, you pompous creep! Not again. You can't go. Where did you go? We can't no let her sooner escape. said than done. Sort of them all, and we'll Greetings, Mage first. What? I cool. don't care how you do it. Extraordinary. I am really, 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 really sorry about what just happened. I didn't want to the fight is still ongoing. If I into you when I did, they'd be elbow deep in my brains right now. Since you were kind enough to save me from those wizardly thugs, well, that's disappointing. I was all worked up to go on an adventure, and now you've left me to die in the wilderness. I guess I'll head back to the friendly arm inn. Hopefully, we'll run into each other when you're feeling less heartless. Come on, take the wizard down. I actually do need you to waste some of your spells. Because otherwise you're gonna horribly murder Carlat. Of course. <laughs> okay. Bodyguard dead, bodyguard dead, Carlot dead, Silky dead. That's a good shot. Anyone else? Didn't get any experience out of any of it. Ah, still. The shot was so beautiful, it would sort of be a shame to blow it because of that. Let's move on. Hello there. Yes, sir. For duration of two hours, armor class reduced to zero. Right. I'd like to say that, well, it didn't win go uh, anywhere according to our plan, but uh, shrug. We got the mission done. Quest completed. That's the that's the most important thing. Of course. Experience is something you can always you gain later risky. on through whatever it means. What is this? Don't you know this? Thirty-seven thousand and nothing to spend it on. Where exactly are we going? Uh, yeah, then camp, right? No sooner said than done. Bandit camp has you fighting against a hostile group of people. Technically, though, we are not with that. They're not necessary to kill. What we need is a piece of paper out of a trap chest. That's oh, what we there, need. Stay thy course and call me a hole. Old man. Old man. Old
A waste of my talents. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. We could buy better armor. Yeah, plus three. Thing is, this isn't gonna be useful for long. It's useful now, though. Except we can't use it with this ring, which isn't the typical issue. Hold on to the ring itself. Alright, we'll be still away left with a decent amount of inventory. Ooh. Of course. And it'll help where we need the help in the stealth. Of course. But yeah, it's sort of 10,000 down the drain in the long term, but for now it's a good investment. How are we going to take down Davior and the mage at Nashville Mines? Not Nashville Mines, but uh, Global Iron Mines. Talents. Yeah, it's a good I think we sort of have to have an answer to that before we head out there. We don't have to head out there now, but we might as well try to buy the necessary implements to survive that. I think we want two things. Protection for magic no and consider protection anti-magic shell. The anti-magic shell would be a good investment anyway, because even if we don't use it against Davion, the Teleportation trap that has trapped ma mages and we have to go into. It's a good place to use it anywhere. So... It, the investment will not go the way. Wait, there, are, there are multiple opportunities in the game later on. To use it too. So it's, a, it's an investment. Pretty safe one too. Potion of Magic Block. Immunity to spells of 5th level and below for 5 rounds. So the immediate first barrage. I'll take 2. 1 protection from poison, protection from undead, and protection from magic. Not sure if we want anything else. Protection from poison might be the most useful thing. Protection from undead is probably more useful later on. Potentially, at least. We could survive without ever using it, but at the same time, that would be said about anything. A waste of my talents. What exactly do we need to do in the bandit camp? There's a commander tent there, and I think there's a fighter, a uh, hobgoblin elite, a mage, and maybe a cleric or another fighter there. So we either have to take them down, or we have to just go in there, take the necessary papers, and run. It'll be an easier target once we get access to wands and other magical spells. So just taking the paper and running might not be a horrible choice to do. Nothing's preventing us from going back there later. We only have a single charm, so we'd have to charm one and use it to kill three others without any real ability to disable the three others. So that's starting to be a no said than done. Tough, tough situation. Not impossible, just tough. No sooner said than done.
A waste of my talent. Not sure where we need to go to actually activate access to the bandit camp. Location is there, so it should be accessible. Help me! If you don't help me, you'll kill me! What a shame. You have been waylaid by enemies. A waste of my talent! Course. They should be treating me as hostile. Our target is somewhere there, I think. We're aiming for the paperwork. Might give it uh if there's a good chance to save there I might give uh an attempt or two to try to get some kind of a victory out of there. Hunter, but that's not a priority for me in any way. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I think this is it. Could I save you? No sooner said than done. Strap. Oh, it is. Yoink. Blah 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 blah, Cloakwood. Blah 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 blah, Nimble, Daddy Horn. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get out of here alive, but don't go invisible. Mullahay and I'll take it back. No sooner said than done. I think only one of those guys is the one that will talk to of you. Of course. So if he doesn't see you, probably the Raymond guy. There's nothing to fear. Troubled times are upon us. So yeah. No real danger here. We want to pick a fight. The knoll is probably okay, but not too good. Mage is always troublesome. Hacked a will have poison arrows, no doubt. I'm sort of curious about how useful the wand of sleep is. That's why I want to pick a fight here. Sorry, friend, but you've got a date down under. So it's another archer. Two archers, melee fighter, and a mage. Okay, works on Britic. Everyone else seems to sort of like just ignore it. I want to see. If, I wanted to see if there are even saving throws. Okay, the archers are the main damage dealers because they pretty much course, always. Give. Sorry, friend, but you've got a date down under. Riddick is the lowest level out of them. Probably. 
Yeah, Bridic is the only one who has to make a saving throw against it. No sooner said than done. So he's the one who we can play out of five. He's probably the best damage dealer out of the bunch. Sorry, friend, but you've got a date down under. Of course. What? Holy shit. Yeah, it's doable. I, I am surely close to death. So, the mage is sort of something I don't have a really solution to. No sooner said Sorry, than done, friend. But you've got a date down under. We absolutely need one of the bigger damage teasers. No sooner said than done. Archery competition is sort of a mixed bag because either one can win it. I, I don't think we should fight this fight. Uh, the problem is I only have that one, one charge. And cool. while I can get something done with it, there's no way I can win the fight with the one charm. I'd need to have some kind of extra of special talent. abilities to complement it, to play others out of fight something. It's, it's just too little. There's the limitation of choosing to go with the thief from the, at the start. Again, I'm not saying it's not doable, I should say it's, it's not worth my time to try to get it to go absolutely perfectly in every goddamn minor aspect. Just not worth it at all. No sooner said than done. Most entertaining the idea of just killing them. A wand of sleep is gonna work on them just fine. But what would be the point? They're not worth that much, and it's a pointless killing for the sake of pretty much nothing. Mm, we can get a non detection cloak here. I think I'll get it. As in actually complete the mission. There there aren't that many creatures who counter that. And Yeah, I, I don't really see the benefit for us holding on to the non protection block. Of course. At the same time, there's no major hurry to try to do it now either. There's like a billion tasks law in that one group that you'd have to take care of. You there! Identify yourself!
fight with druids. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Insurgents, soldiers, Imperial. Good stuff. Never underestimate the power of nature's wrath. Yeah, we could probably use some help here. Actually, no, but he's already started casting. A bear. Oh, that's good enough. And please don't attack. Thirty-five experience points. Whoop! They do. Okay, could you heal us? Jesus Christ, we have a huge party going. Uh, we're gonna go after the cloak. Kill some Tassloy. Maybe some other other dudes. No matter. So, benefits of trying to charm a druid, I guess. Suddenly you have a full party going. Mm, there should be here. The spells won't last long. Everything in this group has to die. A waste of my talents. We lost control of the druid. Kill Seniad. Of course. Never He'll buy his own summoned creatures. Then the summoned creatures can disappear. You have something you can do on the spellcasting front. Uh, paralyze his ass? Four thousand, holy hell. Well, ooh, this is a great charm animals. Yeah, this is fantastic. Mm, we're probably going to deliver the deliver the cloak. Fifteen times we can charm an animal. I, I think it technically means a mammal. Not a charm animal, because there's no charm animal spell. It's uh, the druid version is, uh, I think, it basically means bears, wolves, that sort of thing. It w won't mean uh, the spiders or sword spiders or something like that. So they line up, line well, where no what can be charm and what can is sort of up. Well. Uh, there's no clear indication. I wish they would just say, with a description of the monster when you look at it, what what is it? What's the classification the game uses? It's vital information. 2000 experience points, level up item. 
Holy hell. Right. Can't put anything in fine traps now. More or less, uh, we can expect 5 point increase in certain skills. So, a little bit of extra open locks would hurt. Fine traps, okay. And move silently, definitely needs more. So one extra level up would be... We would have a natural stealth ability around somewhere. We have 55 now. 65, I mean 65 probably after we get the extra dexterity point. So 90 points in stealth abilities too. It's not great, but in a tough situation where we need a little bit of a stealth, don't want to sacrifice an invisibility spell, it's good enough. Uh, probably not good enough to stealth in daylight, but uh, yeah, we'll get most of the benefits we could hope for. Uh, well, we might not get it actually that high. I do want to spend more points in open locks, five extra. But more or less, there. There is the option to go forward with more thief levels, but I don't think so. I, I really want just certain basic things that I can do using thievery, and then mage all the way. Uh, it just means that if you look at it from the maximum experience point caps, the amount of experience we are using now to get these, these levels, they're, they're absolutely meaningless. They, they won't make a lick of difference one way or another. So from that point of view, it makes sense to keep raising your levels a little bit no further and further. Said than done. Problem is, it matters now in this game quite a bit. I, I need, yeah, I, I probably said it before, I need to actually take a look at it where we, where the absolute maximum line is where we where we can push it and where we want to push it I, th I think we want to push it less than we can push it I don't think there's anything in this map section that we can really do there's uh, animals opponents but no encounters no no quest. You also have to ask what are you gaining from those extra thief levels. I think something like 9 or 10 would still be sort of justified. But after that, no, not, a, not at all. Of course. We would have to think where we want to spend the put the points that we don't particularly have a use for. And that's that's the situation we never talent. want to be. We want to rather be in a situation where we wish we could have and spend a few extra points than be in the position where we just need to figure out where the hell are we gonna put all these points. Damage and chance to heat increase, which is nice I suppose, but also worthless. The game does have a Clouds of Strength. I think you can get those in Boulder's Gate. It's it's it, it's not a huge increase in strength, but the effect on carry weight should be dramatic. course. I'm also pretty sure we're not even going to lose the cloak when we try to return it. Guy doesn't actually want it back, but we're going to just sell it away. It's not worth using an inventory slot for. Of course. On the off chance, we'll encounter one mage that actually wants to try to disable our invisibility. 
Good. The timber's bad enough without you bothering me. Three three hundred for speed. I suppose it's worth some cash. And to sell the potions away. And protection from coal, genuine article. Um Protection from coal is actually a thing we probably want. Protection from fire, protection from cold, protection from poison. Talent. Those are the most common ones. No, cold wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's a common, but um, when it's used, it's generally very dangerous. Of course. But it's only used in a couple of locations. The problem is, it's at that point if you don't have protection against it, you're just gonna die. Of course. A couple of winter wolves is danger enough, but I think there's some kind of a specialty of creature in Durlax Tower that will also have a paralysis effect or stun effect attached to their ice attack. So either you're immune or you're you're basically fucked. Hold like yourself to indulge an old man. Of course. We're definitely not getting through the Oakwood mine this time. We might be able to get through most of the actual travel time there. There's only a couple of things there worth our time. Okay, I, I think there's an encounter with druids that basically serve no point. There'll be a cave where a woodsman, well, a would be a woodsman, is training a couple of baby wyverns. But it, it, it's not a quest, it's just an encounter that doesn't really give you anything. And then there's... There's only one thing pretty much before we reach the mine itself. And that's an encounter with... Wyverns. There's bounty being paid from Wyvern heads. Well, if we do it, it's 2000 gold. The problem is, I have no way to really do it with my current abilities. I think we're better off waiting until we are managed to do it. Of course. So the only thing we could do here that's worth doing is... No sooner uh, said than done. There's a spider area next. I think our cloak might be able to charm a sword spider. So we could use that to clear out the place a little bit. There's also a two-handed sword that gives you freedom there. Protection from webbing, stun effects. Uh, no, no. Anything that impedes your movement in a negative way, which is a fairly bad description, in my opinion. Petrification impedes your movement, but freedom isn't gonna protect you from that. But I do I want to do it now. We'd have to haul a corpse here through a lot of webbed areas. Web traps, that sort of thing. There's basically two ooh, seventy thousand level eight. Okay, that will mean it's probably ninety thousand for level eight as a mage. If it's hundred thousand, we won't be able to get to level eight mage, mage anyway. One hundred sixty thousand in total.
That makes sense to me. The point being, we are gonna reach the point a little bit later than I thought. And we can barely reach the level where we can use the, the abilities of both classes. So if we basically want to have any use the thief abilities later on, we'll have to switch it at level 8 pretty much immediately to not, not have some time after. So I think what we want to do is reach Baldur's Gate as soon as possible. Of course. Open up the path there. Try to even ignore these. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to do this. Ocean of Freedom and Run. Will you leave Tiber standing here in the wilderness? Uh, we do have to do something. Move you piece of shit. There's a magical item or two here. And they're part of a, just a corpse. So I don't if I I think if I don't loot them now they won't be there the next time. Uh, the ring is cursed. Yeah, we can take that. just walk through the area I might be able to disarm some other traps it's worth 40 points of experience yeah maybe not worth it we're getting to be a little bit too popular Should be area with druids. No sooner said than done. And the druids are to the left of us, which we don't particularly want to go to. This would be the area with the vibers. Have been waylaid by enemies. A waste of my defend. talents. A waste of my talents. Which we can't do anything in, so if we reach the right side, that should be the camp. I really 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 do need to take the experience point situation right now hello mr. guard Wyvern's in, more or less. Come on. Hmm. Question is, what do we want to do here? There is uh, the hostile adventuring group guarding the mine, and I, I think we want to take them on because I don't know if they're here. If I clear the mine and not encounter them, they'll have the boots of speed. They are the boots I'm basically going to switch to immediately. Better than the stealth, much better. More useful, at least. Maybe not in confined spaces, but uh, in 
wilderness areas and everything else place pretty much the bigger problem is the group is it's a cleric two mages and a fighter we don't care about the experience too much there I, I think what we need to do is basically just get the guy who has the boots experience is uh, nice but we we really need the boots or rather no want sooner the boots, said than done. You want however you want to say it I'd like nine time night time I, I need to probably rely on stealth a little bit here Because I, I don't want to fight against every guard, I want to just fight the one goddamn guy that has my boots. I think it's Jurassic. I need to see if I can put them to sleep. Uh, no. And Drassus is definitely one we want. A waste of my talents. Need to die. Spider. Actually, kill anyone but him. A waste of my talent. Cross crisis death. Okay. Horror panic. Okay, this is turning to a shit so shit show. God damn it. Oh, we got a single kill out of the group, so that's not too bad. I expected nothing after all. Also got one of the mages, so it could have a decent loot drop. Although usually mages have nothing. There's a couple of exceptions, but only a couple. Grasses. And hide in shadows pit. Me boots. The paws of the cheater. Well, not technically, but that's what they are. We could rest and try to take down further guys. The mage shop or anything. Fire shield! Yeah. Grey territory, you wait to kill things. I would consider a fire shield in a situation where we can't really... We have to take down a potentially very powerful opponent and we have no way to influence him, get him to kill himself, or and there's no other guy in the area. So it's basically, we, are, we, ha we have to just attack him somehow, get damage to him somehow, and there's no one there to aid. So fire shield seems like a step above just directly bombarding their house. Not great, but a step above. We could easily take control of one of those if we rest. At least get a little bit of a kill out of it. Uh, Ginthor, Ginthor would probably be a more rewarding kill loot-wise. 
but rest and might have spells called. That we were unlikely to use anyway. No police. He's dead. He's so dead if I take control of him. No sooner said than done. Yeah, the mage clue is always a little bit disappointing. No sooner said than done. This damage is pathetic. I don't think the guards are really worth anything. Seem to be low level of fighters. So I don't particularly care about the end result of this fight. I get another guard here. I'm okay if the guards win this, because the guards won't have loot, they won't be worth much. Ginthor, on the other hand, will probably have at least some good items. Plus one magical crap. Ginthor hits more often, the guards do more damage. Probably a third guard here, as well lure him out of the way. On one. He does one or two points of piercing pretty much when he does damage. They do more than 10 when they do damage. I do need to rest before I continue into the mines themselves, or alternatively, rest in the mines. That doesn't particularly matter too much. We are going to have to use invisibility more or less to get inside there anyway. Someone kill someone. Guard dead. One hundred twenty points. Uh, yep. I don't see how Genthor could win. He's taken a huge amount of damage already. Probably closer to fifty points of damage already. Like they might be able to hit him on a critical hit zone with. Nothing happening. Just a lot of whooshing sounds. Four points of piercing damage from Gentor. Still, there should be 5% chance, even the worst case scenario, that Gamethor is gonna take a critical hit. Meaning pretty much death, I guess, at this point. Gamethor broke his weapon. I love the fact that the Iron Guard uh, guards here also have weapons weak enough that they can just get destroyed at any moment. Good armor. Oh, 
Follow Rain's plate plus one. Okay, what do we need? At least one potion of invisibility. We have magic protections, absorptions, magic blocking, so we'll be fine. Just, just fine. 